the chair, members of the board, with your indulgence, I'd like to combine items seven and eight of the original Florida Tourism Task Force and the North Central Florida Regional Planning Council. For our presentation this morning, talk a little bit about who we are, uh, what we do, and then a brief summary. The North Central Florida Regional Planning Council is part of a statewide network of 10 councils. Uh, we are in the North Central part of the state. Our mission is very simple to improve the quality of life of the region's citizens by coordinating growth management, protecting regional resources, promoting economic development, and providing technical services to our member local governments. The region is comprised of 12 counties, and which includes 40 municipalities, 13 of which those municipalities are members. The largest uh, region in the state, covering some 8,000 square miles, with a population just under 500,000. The council itself is made up of two-thirds uh, elected officials and one-third gubernatorial appointees. Uh, your representative is Commissioner Reddick, uh, represents the elected official position for Bradford County. Counties under state law are required to be members of the Regional Planning Council, and cities can be voluntary members, and the city of Stark here in Bradford County is one of those voluntary members. This is a listing of the 12 counties uh, that are members, and then the next slide is the uh, 13 cities uh, that are also participating members. The council is governed by an executive committee. Our current chair this year is Mayor Davis, uh, just down the road here in the city of Waldo. Our vice chair is Commissioner Wilford from the city of Alachua. Secretary Treasurer is Commissioner Sessions from Swanee County. Our executive committee member is Commissioner Chestnut from Alachua County. And our immediate past chair is Ms. Thomas, a gubernatorial appointee from Dixie County. Council also has uh, several ex officio members of state agencies and water management districts uh, that cover the region. Council is engaged in five principal activities. Uh, first is regional. Just like you're required to have a comprehensive plan to guide the future growth uh, and development of the county, uh, each council in the state is required to have a strategic regional policy plan which is focused just on five subject areas. Affordable housing, economic development, emergency preparedness, natural resources, and regional transportation. Council is also the designated area-wide uh, clearinghouse designated by the governor. Uh, we have the responsibility of viewing all federal grant and loan applications that may have an impact on the physical environment. So without the existence of the Region Planning Council performing this review function, uh, Bradford County would not be able to apply for or receive any federal uh, grants or loans. This past year, uh, the council reviewed about 100 projects, um, totaling about $13.2 million of grant loan applications throughout the region. Not all of them were funded, but many of them were. We also reviewed local government comprehensive plan amendments and make advisory comments. We reviewed 58 of those. We reviewed 19 community block grant applications. Um, also, 18 federal transit applications, many of those for uh, paratransit in rural counties. Second area of activity is public safety. Uh, the council uh, staffs the North Central Florida Local Emergency Planning Committee. And every time I use that phrase, I need to point out it's really a misnomer. It's a region-wide emergency planning committee comprised of local first responders, fire rescue, emergency management, um, uh, and emergency medical services, and law enforcement. They have a region-wide uh, hazardous material response plan, uh, which they exercise each year. Uh, in addition, uh, that group formed uh, about uh, 15 years ago now, the North Central Florida Regional Hazardous Materials Response Team, which Bradford County is a charter member and continues to be a participating member to provide mutual aid support to these uh, member uh, counties concerning a hazardous material uh, incident. Let's remember about a year ago there was a tanker truck on US 301 just south of here, uh, and units uh, did respond from uh, Gainesville, Lacho County, and the Gainesville Regional Airport. Uh, the regional team also uh, engages in training, and this, in this past year completed two tabletop simulated exercises related to safety on natural gas pipelines, uh, one of those being here in Brooker with the uh, compressor station on the natural gas pipeline. We also work extensively with the State Division of Emergency uh, Management on uh, regional evacuation, identifying regional evacuation routes, and in shelters related to tropical storm events and hurricanes. I mentioned the uh, first responder training last year. Uh, we offered uh, 29 classes. Uh, they were offered throughout the region for convenience of our members, and some 395 uh, emergency responders completed the classes, representing over 6,000 hours of training. We also distribute every four or five years when the manual is updated. Uh, this manual you see is, uh, tells your first responders how to 
uh, read the placards that are on tanker trucks uh, traveling our highways or on the rail lines and that lets them know what kind of chemicals are in that tank and how large an area they need to cordon off for public safety until the responders arrive. Also under state law, every county is required each year to do on-site visits of 20% of the businesses and governmental entities that generate a hazardous waste in their daily operation. Most of these are associated with motor vehicle fluids, uh, used motor oil, transmission fluid, things of that nature. Uh, the second most common is uh, dry cleaning fluids. And under an enhanced uh, services uh, contract uh, for fee, the council provides those services to the county, does the on-site inspections, provides educational information to the businesses, be sure they're properly complying and disposing of the hazardous waste, then files the necessary compliance reports with the Department of Environmental Protection. Our third area of activity is economic development. Uh, the council has been a designated economic development district uh, since 1978. This is a designation by the U.S. Department of Commerce. It recognizes the council as the primary entity for conducting region-wide economic development planning uh, on a long-range basis. Under this program, we provide technical assistance to uh, local governments as well as economic development organizations in promoting economic development in our region and diversifying our economy. One of the services we provide is to prepare economic impact analysis of proposed projects, to identify the multiplier effect for secondary employment, uh, the impact on wealth or income uh, in the community, as well as population and the impact on the ad valorem taxes generated by respective uh, business or industry. Council is responsible for having, maintaining, and updating every five years on this designation a region-wide economic development strategy. It's based on the Florida Chamber Foundation's uh, six pillars for securing Florida's future economy, and which we coordinate with the other nine councils around the state. We all use that same common platform and common language, as well as alignment with the Department of Economic Opportunity, which just completed their update of the statewide economic plan, which also uses the Florida Chamber Foundation uh, six pillar principles. Uh, the strategy is responsible for uh, promoting initiatives to, again, diversify the regional economy. And each year we report to U.S. Department of Commerce projects uh, that occur uh, in the region uh, that advance the strategies. Uh, this past year we reported uh, projects generating over 300 jobs and over $35 million in private investment. The strategy has five principal areas. Uh, the first is to support the two rural uh, economic development catalyst sites for the uh, rural area of opportunity. Uh, Mr. Henry's here to speak after I, I do. We work very closely with the partnership in promoting those two catalyst sites, one in Columbia County and one in Swanee County. The council also works uh, in promoting the region for tourism. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I also work with the, the colleges uh, in our region, the three colleges, to increase the labor force for healthcare and life sciences, which is a demand occupation in our region with all our healthcare uh, facilities. I mentioned tourism. Uh, the council conducted a study now some 25 years ago to determine if it would make, uh, add value, make sense to promote our region for nature-based, heritage-based, and uh, cultural-based tourism. Uh, we looked at several models of some regions around the country uh, at that time and concluded that this would be a beneficial endeavor. Uh, so the council formed the original Florida Tourism Task Force, uh, which in the first five years was a task force of the council. They became so active and uh, successful, they spun off and formed their own independent uh, intergovernmental coordination agency, which the county continues to be a member of, and the council continues to provide staff support to them to promote their regional uh, marketing program. Uh, they have a very robust website, which they did a major reconstruction of this past year. Uh, they attend uh, about 15 travel shows, uh, both domestic and international, in cooperation with uh, Visit Florida. And they also distribute uh, collateral material, brochures, and um, brochure racks in motels up and down I-75 throughout Georgia and here in Florida down to Wildwood, as well as the Welcome Centers coming into Florida. They also received this past year an Innovation Award from the National Association of Development Organizations, which is one of our national trade associations, uh, for their experience in North Florida by bike project. Uh, this was a project that identifies and maps at least two bicycle routes in each county, as well as two region-wide routes, and also provides uh, GPS uh, smart cell phone turn-by-turn -turn directions for these bike trails. The uh, fourth area of activity is uh, local government assistance. Uh, we assist a number of counties and cities in complying with the State Community Planning Act, uh, six counties, Bradford County being one of those as well as uh, 12 municipalities, uh, which includes the city of Stark. 
past year, our staff assisted those communities process over 130 development applications for comprehensive plan amendments, special exceptions, uh, and other uh, permit approvals. Uh, we evaluate those projects for their potential impact on the public facilities as well. Second area is community development block grants. Uh, the council has been very successful in this program since its inception over 40 years ago. I uh, secured over $56 million in over 100 projects uh, throughout the region. Council assists community filing applications for housing, neighborhood revitalization, uh, economic development, and, and uh, commercial revitalization, downtown redevelopment. Uh, this past year, we completed a pro housing renovation project uh, in the town of Mayo. And we'll uh, be initiating a, a new housing assistance project here in Bradford County uh, as well. The fifth and final area is transportation. We have two principal activities there. Uh, first is we provide staff to the Metropolitan Transportation Planning Organization for the Gainesville Urban Area in Elachua County. This is the Elachua County Commission and City Commission uh, sitting as a joint transportation planning board, which is a federal requirement of any urban area of over 50,000 in order for them to receive any federal funds for highway, transit, uh, bicycle, and uh, pedestrian facilities. Uh, their five-year transportation pro program included $53 million in transportation projects uh, this past year. Uh, some of the highlights of those were uh, State Road 24, uh, four laning of Archer Road, some of the early planning work for that from Gainesville to Archer, and uh, as well as the turn lane project safety project on State Road 121. The other part of transportation is uh, more focused on uh, our rural counties, it is the state funded uh, transportation disadvantage program, <coughs> which is funded through a fee that we all pay every time we renew our annual Auto tags, uh, $1.50 from that fee goes into a state trust fund. Those funds are then distributed to each of the 67 counties. Uh, a designated planning agency is established in each county, and the, and the council serves that role for uh, 11 of our uh, 12 counties. Uh, this system coordinated this past year uh, <coughs> nearly a quarter million trips for individuals for life-sustaining activities, and well over half of those were for medical appointments. And here in Bradford County, uh, there were over 6,000 trips provided to your uh, constituents throughout the county for those services. And in Alachua County, uh, the Metropolitan Planning Organizations of a state law are the planning agencies, so through our staff work with that organization, we also coordinate those activities uh, in Alachua County as well. We'll talk a few minutes about uh, budgeting and uh, your return on investment for participating in the council, as well as the original Florida Tourism Task Force. Your annual council dues are $5,750. Those dues then are able to leverage uh, the transportation disadvantage dollars that come here to uh, Bradford County and the, and the county's per rated share, minus Stark, is over $15,000. Near area public safety, the local uh, emergency planning committee and the training services that are provided, again, the county's unincorporated share is about $15,000. And the economic development funds received from the federal uh, U.S. Department of uh, Commerce is uh, just under $11,000 for a total of about leveraging $41,000 or a seven to one return investment to your $5,000 in dues. Also, uh, looking at uh, the dues in a, in a different uh, perspective, the direct services we provide for community block grant applications just in the past eight years, been over $2.3 million in federal grants for uh, housing renovation. Uh, that's equivalent to about 400 years uh, worth of dues, a pretty good uh, return for a small investment. Also in terms of enhanced services I mentioned earlier, uh, you have an annual contract with the council for $23,500 to assist you in updating your comprehensive plan at least every seven years required by state law to help you process uh, comprehensive plan amendments, uh, rezoning applications, uh, special exceptions, uh, as well as keeping your maps updated and current, and well as assisting your staff in interpreting your land development regulations uh, and related codes. Uh, the other hand services is the hazardous waste monitoring I mentioned. Uh, for $7,882 each year, we conduct those site visits, uh, provide educational information, and file the compliance reports for 20% of those sites uh, in the county. On the tourism side, uh, the annual contribution there is $3,000, and that leverages from the State Department of Economic Opportunity, a rural regional development grant uh, to produce a uh, product, which is the uh, website brochures and, and other related products and the county share of that is just uh, over ten thousand dollars <coughs> and I mentioned the trade show program partnership with Visit Florida uh, the county share of that is just over nine thousand or for twenty thousand dollars for a three thousand dollar investment also is just short of a seven to one a return on investment we're able to do all this uh, with a very dedicated uh, staff of 12 individuals uh, this is my senior management team 
Uh, the next slide are the really important folks. Uh, these are the project managers, administrative support staff uh, that make all this happen uh, on a daily basis. So in summary, uh, the council is part of a statewide network of 10 councils around the state. Uh, it's made up of two-thirds elected and one-third gubernatorial appointees. We are a planning, coordinating, uh, facilitating, advising organization. We are not a regulatory agency. Uh, we do not issue any permits. We do not have the power authority to make anyone do anything or prohibit anyone from doing anything. I always like to say we have the power and persuasion of good ideas. Uh, our programs and portfolio is very diversified, ranging from regional activities to public safety, economic development, emergency management, and transportation. Uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, that concludes my presentation. We'd be happy to answer any questions from the board. Any questions? Any questions? Mr. Questions? Sure. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, tell me on the uh, $3,000 fund request that yes, you want to combine the two, seven and eight. Um, is there overlap in that $3,000 and then what you also have uh, as part of your package under number eight there? And then, and uh, Mr. Henry, you may be, when, when you come up, maybe able to talk to this too. Uh, with that $3,000 funding request, is there overlap on both of your sides? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, in response to the question's question, uh, there is no overlap. Again, there they are two separate independent organizations. The Regional Planning Council is an inter governmental agency organization which the county is a member of. The Regional Florida Tourism <coughs> Task Force is a separate intergovernmental organization which the county is a member of, which sole mission is to promote the region for tourism. Uh, so that 3000 just goes to the tourism group uh, to leverage those grant funds from the state and uh, visit Florida for their parking program. The member dues the council supports the overall operation of the Regional Planning Council. Okay, so strictly uh, for tourism, and you've talked about economic development, so there's two separate issues there, two, two separate mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Tourism and economic Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. And, and also, um, um, Mr. Coons, um, on the 3,000, most of the counties pay for that out of the bid tax money, is that correct? Mr. Chair, response to the Commissioner's question, uh, most counties do. Uh, pay the tourism dues from their uh, Tourist Development Council uh, bed tax uh, that they receive uh, on an annual basis. Um, there are two counties that participate that do not have a bed tax uh, or a Tourist Development Council because they've limited the lodging facilities. Uh, but uh, there's one other county that does have bed tax that pays for it through their development authority. But most counties do pay for it with their bed tax. Because that's what I'd like to see this board do, if, if, if we would, is to get, get that money from the TDC fund um, to continue on with that. And also, I do serve on the uh, Regional Planning Council with uh, Mr. Coons, and, uh, and I'm going to tell you what, uh, they do a fantastic job. All the work they do behind the scenes for us, uh, they, they do a fantastic job. And, um, and, and also, on the NATO board, um, and I apologize, you're either fixing to be chair or you are chair. And, and I apologize for that. I was trying to sit here and remember. But, but if, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, Mr. Chairman, in response to the Commissioner's question, I mentioned earlier the National Association of Development Organizations. This is a trade association of similar organizations across the country. We have over uh, 300 uh, members and over 200 uh, associate members. And I'm going to have the privilege uh, next month to be installed as the president of that national organization. I just I wanted y'all to hear that because, like I said, Mr. Coons does a lot of work, a lot of work for, for all the counties, and I, I really do appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Kind of words. Anybody else? Hearing none. Thank you, Mr. Coons. Thank you. Uh, moving on to our item.